Imagine that you're standing on the edge of a boundless ocean with a sparkling cosmos reflected in its waters. Now imagine that this panorama with its myriad stars and spinning galaxies is just a reflection, a projection from an invisible distant shore. This is not the beginning of a science fiction tale, but a look at one of the most striking theories in modern physics, the holographic principle. Just as each droplet on a spider's web contains the world in miniature, our universe may be a grand reflection of fundamental laws written on a distant frontier. Far from the solid earth beneath our feet and the emptiness of space, the very fabric of our reality may be generated by something much deeper, something beyond our present comprehension. Let's go on this exploration together and try to answer the ultimate question. Does the fabric of our universe arise from a holographic boundary? At the heart of physics is a quest, a quest to uncover the layers of reality to reveal its most fundamental elements. These elements, known as ontological primitives, are the foundation upon which the vast edifice of the universe is built. For centuries, physicists have searched for these building blocks, seeking to understand the rules governing their interactions. The journey begins with the concept of space. Isaac Newton, one of the titans of science, envisioned space as an absolute, unchanging background indifferent to the comings and goings of matter and energy. For Newton, space was an absolute receptacle, an infinite space in which all the events of the universe were played out. However, as our understanding deepened, this view of space began to evolve. The advent of Einstein's theory of relativity painted a different picture, in which space was not just a passive arena but an active participant in cosmic interaction. According to the new view, space could bend and curve in the presence of mass and energy, calling into question the very notion of its absoluteness. Amid the shifting perspectives, a radical idea emerges the holographic principle. This principle suggests that our three-dimensional perception of the universe may be akin to a hologram a projection from a two-dimensional surface located at the edge of space. This edge, though indefinitely distant and inaccessible to direct observation, may contain the fundamental information that gives rise to everything we perceive as reality. This concept overturns our usual notions by arguing that the very essence of space, the fabric of our reality, may not be a fundamental characteristic of the universe, but is emergent. Emergentism describes phenomena that arise from the complex interaction of simpler elements, leading to new properties and behaviors that are not obvious based on the components alone. In the context of our universe, and especially within holographic principle, emergentism takes on a fascinating role. Here, the term implies that the three-dimensional space we move through and the time we experience are not the fundamental building blocks of reality. Instead, they arise from a more basic or two-dimensional structure, the holographic boundary that encodes the information and laws that give rise to our perceived reality. In this framework, every star, planet, and galaxy every law of physics from gravity to electromagnetism, and the very fabric of the cosmos are emergent phenomena. It's something like a bridge between the known and the unknown, between the observable dimensions of our universe and the fundamental coding of reality at the holographic boundary. It invites us to rethink not only the structure of the cosmos, 
but the very nature of reality as we peel back the layers of the universe. Against the backdrop of our hypothesis, black holes, where gravity triumphs to such an extent that even light cannot escape it, have become those unexpected heroes, thanks to the pioneering insights of Stephen Hawking and Jacob Bekenstein. Hawking and Bekenstein ventured into uncharted territory, attempting to combine the fields of quantum mechanics and general relativity theory in order to explore the thermodynamics of black holes. Their theories revealed the startling fact that black holes are not absolute endpoints of entropy, but rather key players in the cosmic interaction of information and energy. Entropy, traditionally associated with disorder in a system, took on a new dimension in their hands. It became a veil, hiding information inside black holes. It was not just about the randomness or disorder of particles, but about the hidden layers of information that define the very structure of reality. As matter spirals into a black hole, it seems to disappear from our universe which raises a major question. What happens to the information it carries? This question calls attention to entropy, not just as a measure of disorder, but as a key to understanding the fate of ingested information. The entropy of a black hole, as proposed by Bekenstein, is directly proportional to its surface area, not its volume, a concept that contradicts our everyday understanding of physical laws. This relationship between surface area and entropy leads us to a profound conclusion. The maximum amount of information that can be contained in any given region of space is determined not by its volume, as one might intuitively assume, but by its surface area. This view laid the foundation for the holographic principle, which assumes that all the information of a volume can in principle be encoded on a two-dimensional surface. Thus, Hawking and Bekenstein's discoveries of black hole thermodynamics suggest a cosmos in which the very fabric of reality, every particle, every force, and the very dimensions of space and time can only be emergent properties emerging from a deeper two-dimensional fabric. At the forefront of bridging the gap between the mysteries of black hole thermodynamics and the holographic principle is Juan Maldacena. This work is not just a framework, but a concrete example of holographic principles in action. Maldacena's correspondence asserts a duality between a type of space known as anti-de Sitter space, abbreviated ADS, and conformal field theory, or CFT, which exists at the boundary of this space. Despite the positive cosmological constant of our universe, which contrasts with the negative constant of ADS space, the principles derived from this duality provide insight into the nature of gravity and quantum mechanics, and by extension, the holographic nature of our universe. Central to this dualism is conformal field theory, which operates on the boundaries of the universe within the ADS-CFT framework. CFT is unique in its scale and variance. The laws governing these field theories remain unchanged regardless of the size or scale at which they are observed. This property of CFT is key because it encodes the information needed to describe higher dimensional bulk space within a lower dimensional framework, effectively illustrating the holographic principle. Scale invariance within CFT is not just a mathematical curio. It is a window into the emergence of dimensions and the very fabric of space itself. Different scales of patterns at the boundary, governed by the uniform laws of CFT, contribute to the illusion of three-dimensional space. This phenomenon emphasizes the holographic principle that the complexity and dimensions of volume space arise from simpler, scale-invariant dynamics at the boundary. 
Through the prism of ADS, CFT, and the intricacies of conformal field theory, we gain a deeper understanding of how the dimensions and the very structure of space-time can emerge. Scale invariant boundary patterns each contributing to the holographic encoding of the universe. One of the most obvious metaphors for this complex idea is the concept of nested spheres. These nested spheres serve as visual framework, with each layer representing different scales of boundary patterns. The finest patterns, akin to the microscopic level, are densely packed with information and require high-resolution understanding. As you move to finer spheres, the patterns become coarser encapsulating the same information but in a more generalized, less detailed form. In the microscopic space of the holographic boundary, the patterns are dense and highly detailed, resembling the fine strokes of a master painter. These fine-grained patterns are the most fundamental level of the universe, where every tiny element is filled with information encoding the laws of physics and initial conditions of cosmic phenomena. Moving from the micro to the macro environment resembles looking at a mosaic. Up close, we see only individual tiles, each with its own color and shape, but at a distance, a complex and holistic image emerges. Similarly, the grand structure of the universe, galaxies, stars, and planets, emerges from this collective behavior of fundamental patterns encoded on the holographic boundary. This transition from fine to coarse grain patterns at the boundary of the universe is not just a feature of the holographic model, it's a fundamental process that shapes our perception of space. It emphasizes the differences in information requirements at different scales, demonstrating the adaptability and efficiency of the holographic encoding of space. The concept of a holographic universe is based on a profound philosophical and scientific notion, ontological democracy. This idea suggests that the boundaries of the universe, with its two-dimensional encoding of information and the three-dimensional space we're familiar with, can be equally fundamental to the fabric of reality. Neither is more real or primary than the other, rather they coexist in a state of mutual emergence. This view has far-reaching implications. It suggests that what we perceive as the three-dimensional reality of stars, galaxies, and planets, all with their complex interactions, may be the manifestation of deeper, more fundamental laws encoded at a distant and visible boundary. Now, this coding not only dictates the structure of the volume, but is also shaped by events within it, creating a feedback loop. In our journey through the holographic universe, we encounter a profound rethinking of gravity which is traditionally viewed as the curvature of space-time under the action of mass. In the holographic framework, gravity arises not from the mass itself, but from entropic forces acting in the information encoded at the boundary of the universe. Now, the idea that gravity might be an emergent phenomenon like temperature or pressure in thermodynamics represents a radical shift in perspective. It suggests that what we perceive as gravitational attraction is the result of the universe's tendency to maximize entropy, an idea first proposed by physicist Eric Berlin. This theory suggests that gravitational attraction arises from changes in the amount of information associated with the position of material bodies. The holographic universe also pushes us to explore the mysterious role of quantum entanglement in the fabric of space-time. Quantum entanglement, the phenomenon in which particles remain bound in such a way that the state of one particle can instantaneously affect the state of another, regardless of the distance separating them, may be the thread that weaves this spatial continuum of the universe. According to this view, space itself arises from the entanglement of quantum bits encoded at the cosmic boundary. 
When particles are entangled, they share a common bond that contributes to the illusion of continuous space. Theoretically, unraveling these particles could lead to the disappearance of the space between them, which calls into question the very notion of distance and locality in our universe. The principle of a holographic universe, of course, like many other theories in physics, poses one ultimate question, the question of finding a universal holographic model. This ambitious endeavor is designed to reconcile the myriad complexities of the universe into a single structure that accurately describes both the immense cosmic scale and the minutia of quantum mechanics. The challenges in this endeavor are enormous. Creating a universal model requires not only a deep understanding of quantum mechanics and the general theory of relativity, but also a new approach to integrating these theories into a holographic framework. Potential breakthroughs promise to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. A successful universal holographic model could provide unprecedented insight into the origin of the universe, the nature of black holes, and the fundamental laws governing reality. As we journey through the possibilities of the limits of this theory, we may be on the threshold of a new understanding of the cosmos or another refutation of high-profile theory. If reality is holographic, then our perception, experience, and very existence may be far more intertwined with the cosmos than we ever imagined. This journey is fraught with challenges and unknowns, but the promise of unlocking the deepest secrets of the universe propels us forward in pursuit of an elusive universal model that would redefine our place in the cosmos.